Good morning to you on this Saturday. We continue to look at Mark's Gospel, chapter 14. Today we look at verses 10 and 11. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went off to the chief priests in order to betray him to them. They were glad when they heard this and promised to give him money. And he began seeking how to betray him at an opportune time. It seems that this um, incident with um, the woman who came in while Jesus was visiting Simon the leper who poured very costly perfume on Jesus' head. And it seems Judas, who was the one who said um, this should have been sold and the 300 denarii and given to the poor, we know that he didn't care about the poor, he just cared about skimming the money off the top that the disciples had. But this was the straw that broke the camel's back. He was probably entertaining thoughts already that Jesus wasn't who he thought he was following. He thought he was following the uh, one who would save Israel from the Romans when he realized that Jesus had a different agenda. He was already beginning to have his doubts. He was a thief. He was greedy. And now with this incident, he turns to the scribes and the Pharisees and offers to betray Jesus to them. Um, and they were glad, and they offered him money. And we know that the sum of money was 30 pieces of silver. Um, this was to fulfill the prophecies in the Old Testament. Judas got the money, he betrayed Jesus. Uh, but then when he saw what happened to Jesus, that Jesus was crucified, he went out and hung himself. What a tragic end. It all started with him being a thief, uh, ended with him becoming greedy, betraying Jesus. And finally, he uh, lost his own life and, and committed suicide. Sin will take not only your little finger, it will take your whole hand, it will take your whole life. Judas is a tragic example of that. What's important is that Judas was one of the 12 disciples. He, one of those closest to Jesus who betrayed him. Again, this was to fulfill the scriptures. Everything that happened in the life of Jesus was prophesied in the Old Testament. Everything that was prophesied uh, did was fulfilled. And this, of course, is very comforting to us as we follow God's word, that we know that God's word is truth. But we can look at any of the prophecies and we see the direct fulfillment of them. And that just encourages us to continue to believe in the word of God. So may I encourage you today, trust the scriptures, trust the word of God, trust in Jesus. Um, be careful not to uh, give Satan even your little finger because he'll take your whole arm and eventually take your whole life. We flee from sin. We resist the devil knowing that he must flee from us. And we commit ourselves to our Lord. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you today in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for this day. We ask your blessing over this day. Today on this Saturday, Lord, we pray that you would take us by the hand, lead us and guide us. We pray, Lord, as we prepare tomorrow to celebrate Pentecost, that our hearts would be clean, our vessels would be empty and open for you to fill, Lord. We thank you that you love us so very much. We thank you for every day. We thank you for every opportunity that we have, Lord, to teach your word, to preach your word, to hear your word, to learn your word. Help us today, Lord, to be immersed in your word, to be immersed in your ways. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing over our country. We pray for our leaders. We pray, Lord, for those in authority, that you would give them wisdom and understanding in these strange times. We pray, Lord, that you would just be with those who are suffering so much in the Ukraine. We pray for an end to this war. We pray, Lord, for all who have lost so much. We pray, Heavenly Father, for peace. We pray for those who are suffering. We pray for the sick. We pray, Lord, for the dying. We pray for those who remember those who have passed away. We pray for those who are mourning. We pray, Lord, for those souls that don't know you yet. And we ask that today would be the day that many hearts will be open to you. We commit to you our loved ones near and far. We ask that you protect them from all evil. We pray that you help our lives to be an example of what it means to love you and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Help us, O oh Lord. Forgive us our many trespasses and sins. Cleanse and renew us, lead us, and guide us. And now, Lord, we combine our prayers by praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow as we celebrate Pentecost.